Mal is in the room right now, and they just refer to me as an apple bottom, and I don't know what that means. But hey, everybody, I'm Tony. My pronouns are they, them. Wow, hey, I'm only Tony. That's right, it's an only Tony LP. Mal, shout Mal is shouting at me in the distance, but today we're playing Into the Breach, so let's go take a look at that. I am recording two episodes of this because Mal and Fiona need a little bit more time. Just a little bit more time before they uh, get going on their own LP journey, which is going to be pretty rad. So, for those who do not know, Into the Breach is the sequel game, more or less, to FTL Faster Than Light. Uh, by, shit, subset games? Or, I forget, I forget exactly what they're called, but basically, it's a grid game. We have mechs, and there's a lot of stats, and it's incredibly refined gameplay and it involves time traveling. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. I have beaten kind of like an island and a half of this game. So, I'm and I, I have my expert pilot, Ralph. I have my mechs over here. So the way this game works is that you have different classes of mechs and they can do different things. They have different health. They have different abilities. Um, and here, why don't we even just go into the, into the test mech area, right? So it's like all grid. You're able to move around. The enemies would normally take a turn and you can use your abilities. Sometimes you can heal. You pretty much never heal because you always are doing shit. You can punch shit. You can do all sorts of things. And then the different mechs, they can do different stuff. So this is just like a standard tank. It'll shoot. And normally that would have done one damage, but because it pushes it into the mountain, it does an extra damage. So a lot of this game is about manipulating the enemy and just kind of gain them where you want them to be and then the final mech that we'll be running with today is this artillery buddy where if like all the all the areas that i shoot next to um the enemy will ram into those enemies so if i shot here it would do two damage which would actually in some ways be better than if i just straight up shot this enemy but what i can do is shoot this enemy right and it'll do a damage to that one, that one. I can move that around and and you'll start to see pretty quickly why it's important that I move enemies around. So we're just gonna go to the first island. So here's our president of the island. Like I think I think there are only four islands in human that's like all humanity's got. But other than that, like I guess there's advanced technology. I need to defend my grid. Um, and you'll kind of see what that means. Now there are these different options they're both pretty similar emergency batteries and power generator uh, we're just gonna do this one i don't think it really matters much so uh old earth artillery battery up and running oh i see protect the artillery battery oh i understand so i'm gonna place my dude so every time these buildings are destroyed by these enemy vec by the way vec that's such a good name. Vec. Ah, oh, Vec. Uh, every time these take a damage, uh, a, my power grid goes down. And so ultimately what I'm trying to do is prevent these from taking damage. That's what I need to do. And then I have these optional objectives over here. Now I'm going to be using a bunch of hotkeys. So I apologize if it's a little harder to follow in on the action. And also I haven't played this game a lot. So I don't know exactly what is the best way to place my units. All I really know right now is that I generally want my, my punchy mech towards the front. I want my tank mech so it can get a line of sight and my artillery mech usually in the back somewhere. Okay. So we have a pretty easy opening volley right now. Um, and what we are going to do, and by the way, you always move and then shoot. You can't shoot and then move, that's not it's not even an option here. So these are areas where the Vec are going to emerge and it behooves me to step on them, but I do take a damage if they try to emerge. It's basically almost, it's almost like an instant kill to an enemy who's not even here. But more ideally what I can do is I can shoot an enemy Vec, an enemy onto it, right? Like I can, I can just, so if I go over to my artillery, which is uh, D, I could move here, and then I could shoot here, which wouldn't do damage to my building, but it would push this thing down to there, and it, this would take a damage. Mm, or it would take a damage from this. That's pretty good. 
That's pretty good. I'm wondering if I have any other way of, of doing shit. Well, you know what I could do? I could go up here, punch this this way, and then use my artillery to shoot here, which will then push that onto there. Come over here, and that. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So, you're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. You're going to go there. Do that. So it kills that dude. It prevents that one from spawn. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but see, I put my I put my grid on the line right there, which was a stupid maneuver. But what I can do is go down here and shoot this into the water. Thus killing it instantly. Perfect. Oh, but then that got rid of my, ah, whatever. It worked out. So I'm kind of where I started in terms of um, just enemies at the moment. So these flying ones, they just do a single claw scratch ahead of them. They're not... The most threatening thing about them is that is that they're really mobile, right? Meanwhile, we have over here this Scion. It just passive... It can fly, but it can also... It's just passively giving plus one health to all enemies. So it behooves me to get rid of that pretty quickly. So I could stand over here. Well, I could also... Got a lot of options here. Got a lot, la 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 lot of options. Mm. I could shoot this thing. I could punch it. Oh god. You know, I could just artillery it so it covers that up. I think that's the best way to do this. So we're going to just artillery this thing so it covers that up. And then I need to move my mech here. And, you know, I think I'm just gonna maybe punch that. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna cover this. Then I'm gonna go over here. And I'm just gonna shoot that. So, that thing and me are going to both take a damage, because these Vec are trying to emerge. So, blocked an enemy, blocked an enemy. Uh, that's not good. I was don't go don't go right there. Oh fuck All right, all right, we have entered a bad a bad state of being um, my artillery might be able to save us here Though in that I can run up here Shoot this thing into that That'll kill both Yeah, let's do that all right, two Vec have been deleted. I like all your pilot dudes, they're so cute. So a lot of this game is really just positioning. Like at first you think like, oh, I need to get as much damage as possible, but like blocking the Vex, ideally with your own units is like super, super, super critical. Now what I can do is go down here and then art I think I can artillery this. So it blocks that. So instead of me taking a damage blocking it, it will take a damage blocking it. So we're going to do that. So that's gone. You're there. Oh, but damn it. I would take a damage. Mm. I don't want to damage my power generator. Oh, fuck. I should have shot first. Damn it. You know, I can undo my move. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't undo that many moves. Is there ability to reset turns? Yes, I'm gonna reset this turn. Because the whole thing is that there's time traveling, right? So I'm gonna go here. Shoot that, kill both of those. You're gonna go here, no. Here? Oh no, no, it's gonna shoot this part. Right, right, right. right. It will smash into my dude. I think that's acceptable though. That's acceptable. Oh, but then, oh, but then I wasn't, oh, but I, I didn't actually end up blocking the thing. Okay, but I guess I didn't take damage to my power plant, so that's ultimately fine. Um, I can't really do anything else, so that's just the end of that turn. Yes, attack the air, you you silly goose. 
There continue to be dudes that- Oh no, oh no, this is it, this is the final turn. So this is easy, this is easy. We, we can just kinda, kinda clean up here. And then just go there. Beautiful. And I, I don't think I need to do anything because I have a victory in one turn. Hey! Now you don't need to repair your mechs because they repair at the end, no matter what. Protected a bunch of civilians, got some XP, got a star, and upgrade to my power grid. Um, I want to get my power grid to max and then ideally up from there because then, because uh, then my chance for ability to just like not take damage increases, which is really good. So, let's see here. Upgrade my power grid or more stars. Come on, defend the train. I haven't tried defending the train yet. But you know what? I just realized I actually have a mod here that I can install because my pilot is really cool. So we're gonna upgrade his movement ability so he can move an extra amount. Diesel trains may be old fashioned by today's standards, but old Horus here is going strong. He's vital to our supply lines. So I think the train is gonna be moving, which is badass. I'm all about it. Uh, let's do you there. Put you there. And as always, the artillery's in the background. Well, see, that's not so bad. I generally prefer it when, um, shit. Yeah, I generally prefer it when, um, I'm able, when they just attack me. I'm all about that. So I'm not sure what the best thing to do here. I could, I could just have the artillery shoot here, thus making that attack the mountain. Just get my mech to stand on top of this so one doesn't show up. And then shoot that over there. Yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna do that. This is my attack plan. In fact, I think I'm gonna have this go all the way over here and just kind of point blank that asshole. All right, so it's gone. So that kind of takes care of this threat and you're just, yeah, you're just gonna fucking stand there, my dude. Oh, but it's gonna get blocked off from the train in just a second here, so I probably wanna move to that spot. Um, and so this is actually just going to push this away. Not gonna do any damage, just gonna push away. That will be my turn. I'm a little bit worried about this train blocking me off here. I have my artillery who's going to be able to do something, but I don't know. It helps that these things are running about. I, I don't find these enemies too threatening. The problem is that you're not able to just shove them into the water, which kind of sucks, but not such a big deal. So that's going to attack the train. Huh. This is going to attack that. So the, I think the most obvious thing is to just go up here and fucking punch this thing, right? God, what a good ass game. Also, I totally forgot to name the mechs. That's my bad. I'll do that if I die. Uh, oh, wow. And if you get in the way of the train, it just fucking kills your unit and possibly the train. That's such an interesting mechanic. So if I shoot this into the mountain, it will die. So that's good. I should do that. Um, and then... Uh, that sucks that I'm going to have so many spawning enemies. But... That's just the life we live. Okay, so I should punch it here. Because if I punch it from here over there, it'll damage the train. Um, okay, there's a forest fire going on over there. I can at least shoot this thing, right? So it'll take a damage. So let's see what we got. We have four enemies on the board, which kind of sucks. I got that buddy right there who's making my life miserable. It can just fly over me! Okay, so something I can do here. Ooh, I can make an entire turn dedicated to having the enemy just slaughter themselves. Oh, this is glorious. Okay, so my biggest problem is this dude right there. Which... I'm 
not super sure about the best way to do that. Oh, but it's just going to attack my mech. Wow, okay, okay, wow, this is, this is gonna be a wild turn. Okay. So I shoot that down. So they're, they're just gonna slaughter their own unit is what's going on here, and I fucking love it. You go over there, just take some damage. And you know what? You just shoot this asshole. I don't know what this means. I don't know what the shield means, but let's see. Yeah, I think it just means it's not gonna move. So there's a turn order that you can check. So it looks like this is pretty much the ideal turn. <laughs> this is a good turn. All right, watch this shit. Wham, attack. Well, bam, attack. Fucking beautiful. And it killed both of those. Oh my God, ah! Oh! I feel like a mastermind. So these stars, what they're gonna let me do later is acquire just kind of various upgrades once I uh, secure the island. So they're pretty cool. Um, over at Historic County, we can defend satellite launchers or we could defend the tanks. That's kind of cool. They might move around, I'm not sure. But, you know, fuck it, let's go. Let's go to, oh, actually that looks difficult. But the tanks might move around, or at least I can move the tanks around is the thing. Oh, God, my nose. Um, so your mechs can go through water, and there's not, so far as I know, or at least I haven't encountered tiles that require more movement for land units. So, it's not a big deal to just run up to this thing and punch it. But even so, it's probably better to go start right there, I think. I think? We'll see. Oh, but shit, there's a tank down there. Oh, oh God. Okay, you're gonna start there. You're gonna start there. I haven't come upon the web enemies. So there are web enemies in this game and they are scurry. Also, that's a time-ass pod. Hmm. I want that time pod. So that has a really useful thing. In, in, in my experience, that's just a useful ass thing. So what I can do here is I can at least shove this into that. Which will do something. <laughs> I don't know, I mostly just want this time pod. Time pod retrieved. Hmm. So that thing's on fire, right? So if I shoot, I don't know, we'll see. We should probably have this thing do something first. Um, actually, I don't know. I might just go punch that because it'll kill both of those. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to have the artillery do something for that bug, buddy. Uh, so let's see here. If I do this, I move the artillery and I make it so I block a Vec coming up. So that is a good, that's a good use of my time. So only one enemy is going to spawn next turn. This only has two health, so easy peasy. Beautiful cover girl. Squeezy. Um, I don't know why I thought I had to say it like that. So let's see here. Now the obvious option is to shoot this thing so it covers the Vec, right? Um, and I can shoot that with my tank, right? Oh, but if I shoot it right there, it'll just hit my tank. Oh god, this is a good game. Don't want to go over the fire. I could somehow see if I could shoot it onto the fire. I don't know, we'll see. Mm. The question this round is what do I do with my buddy? Because I, I really want to use the Vec as much as I can to block the ground, and there's an enemy who's gonna pop up right here. So I could, two, three, four, nope. Is there a specific way to path this shit? One, two, three, four. Because I don't want to go that direction. I want to go this direction. Do I hold alt? Do I... Can I... <sighs> We're going to try something. And it's going to confirm my theory about whether or not I can move over there. Oh, but I'll kill it regardless if I punch it. Hmm. 
See, these things usually aren't threat that threatening. I actually prefer- if I could use one of them to block the Vec from popping up, like, that's what I would prefer to do. So, I'm probably just gonna use the artillery to push this thing over here. Uh, and nope, you're not able to move once you move, so... So that's kind of doing that. I like how it just moves the tank. <laughs> uh, uh, this is going to go over here. Um, yeah, fuck it. I might as well kill it. Um, and then you're just going to go over here and punch that shit. Yeah. What a perfect world. I don't know what the forest cover does. I should look at the forest cover real quick. <sighs> These enemies, not so bad. Although I think my mech has one health. Let's let's take a look see. Nope. Archive tanks call signs are active now. What does that mean? <gasps> Can I use them? I can use them! That's cool! Oh, that's really cool. I honestly don't have a lot of use for them right now. <laughs> I mean, they'll do a damage, right? Um, so like if I if I use this asshole, what's this that thing doing? It's gonna shoot that way? Right, so if I use this thing to just shoot it that way. It's not even going to do damage. So it'll hurt that. I can just kind of... Punch this over there. They're going to just... There's just going to be a lot of slaughter going on. So this is going to shoot first. Then that will shoot that. Okay, that's good. So I might want to try to... Do damage to that thing somehow. Um, or I might just want to block block some shit yeah I think I'm just gonna just gonna stay there I suppose and you know what I'm actually going to shoot this because I think that's ultimately gonna do more damage okay you're just gonna I guess repair oh yeah what do forests do is it just if damaged? Tile will light on fire when damaged, posing great risk to this unit. Oh, so it's generally kind of, it's a little bit dangerous to just be on a forest when you're not, when you're not thinking. All right, so they're just gonna hurt each other a lot. I could have done that a little bit better though. That's okay. Victory in two turns, so not a problem. So my problem right now are just are really just these two since these can these assholes can wander about doing whatever. Um let's see here. You can just kinda go up. No, no, not not through the fire. <sighs> That's alright. Um I can shoot that. I could also just use my artillery to shoot that also shoot this with my artillery which would kill it because that tank can't kill it right god I, it's so weird having five units because I'm so used to just having uh, just having three but it's not even a problem I guess like it's so much easier when you have two extra dudes just to help move things around right like like, I can get this asshole out of the way, right? And I can- I can shoot this. Right, so I'm gonna... And then I can... Use this buddy... To punch here. I think I'm not fucking myself over here. Okay. I can have you do this. Yep. All right, there we go. Okay. Well, I think yeah, I think that's it. 
So this thing's just gonna kind of swing for no reason. Yeah, there you go. Woo! Oh, this is a good game. So now let's go take a look at our time pod. And <laughs> look, they even have like an open the door thing. Hey, a reactor core! Sick. That's good because we can just straight up, you know, do stuff. Wait. Is this a new pilot? Wow. I think I just got a new pilot. Oh, sick. You just got a new pilot. You can assign them in the upgrade screen. Wow, that's radical. Uh, you have experience. I guess I'll put you here. Oh, but if you if you're gonna go through enemy units. Oh god. I think I actually want you there because the my punching dude kinda needs to move through enemy units a fair amount. I'll put my experience Ralph over where Lita was, and then down to here. Um I'll put my experienced Lita. And look at that! I have a reactor core. Now, I could do a number of things with this. I could make it immune to buildings. I could just straight up shoot buildings. It's not even a problem anymore. I could increase my move. I could increase my health. Or I could just make it so I punch things real fucking good. Oh, I don't have enough stuff for that. But I could make it so I have a sweet dash. Oh, but shit, his thing is that I have an extra thing only for the thing I'm in. So I could install this here and do an extra damage. That could be pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. All right, so now we're able to do more damage with our tank, and that's pretty good. And you're able to go check out the next episode of Into the Breach. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we also have a Patreon that you can check out in the end card or the video description. I'm just going to do one more video of this uh, so that Mal and Fiona can be ready. So I'll see you soon. Bye.